There's an old but very true journalistic saying that there is nothing as dead as yesterday's story. And on Nationwide, there's nothing as dead as yesterday's program. There it is up on the board there. But quite shortly, because it's just gone 8.20, that board will be wiped absolutely clean. The people who run Nationwide are on their way into the office, and when they get here, the editor of the day will sit here, and opposite him, his producer of the day. Studio presenters like uh, Michael Barrett or Frank Boff will be sitting in this chair, and to their right, people like Sue Lawley or Bob Wellings. And other people are on the way into their offices too, up in Aberdeen, Cardiff, Newcastle, all over the country, the regions, feeding information into here, and in return, being asked for information. Both of them backed up by the main nationwide production team. In about half an hour, these desks will be filled with uh, researchers, producers, production assistants, not necessarily being all that polite to each other. And over here, the film desk, looking after reporters, directors, and film crews out on the road, sending in films to Nationwide. And the job of all these people is to make sure that a new program appears on that board every day. Nationwide. Hello, Jim. Oh, he's just coming in, actually. Morning. Keith, it's Jim in Leeds. Hello, Keith. Uh, a little more about that reservoir film that you ought to run, we think, anyway, in your part one tonight. There are some people in the district in Derbyshire who've been drawing water from wells all their lives and they've just now got on to the public water supply. Yes, I haven't got room tonight, I don't think, but um, I'd like to see it. Look, let's put it on the train. Could you do that? This is Leeds. This is Leeds. What's the length tonight, anyway? I don't even know that. I think we should do something uh, about inflation today, very definitely. And Andrew's put in a bid for Jack Jones. Did you see the story about Robin Hood today, that, uh, in fact, he was a, a philanderer and an adventurer? Uh, and he was thoroughly no good and equally made Marion. I mean, at a time when we're talking about distribution of incomes and talking about <laughs> Robin Hood. Ooh, that's, that's <laughs> tenuous, <laughs> Keith. Maybe not. Maybe not. Eight, six o'clock. Andrew's keen on super rats. Yeah, very much in people's nightmarish imagination. I just think we've done super rats, you know, like we've done super lice. And I think there are other stories in the regions that we nearly got together about a fortnight ago. Oh, you mean out there now? They're about they're out there on now, this trip yeah. now, are they? We keep councils. It has a good ring about it. Oh, hello, Gordon. I'm sorry, thanks for not in the room. I'm going to just call you back. Hi, everyone. Look at Fenton. I've got my road down. Morning, all. Hello. Thank you. Bye, Frank. Sorry. Rough on the road this morning, was it? You enjoyed, love, you tried. Frank, still two books you heard. Frank, could I just keep you doing that? I'm afraid between that, but we could try her again. Frank, there's uh, Welsh farmer stories on the board again. Do you reckon you can check it out for me? The only person who ought to go is Dave Rowley, but. Uh, well, I'll ask him. He's be phoning me in shortly, but he's over in Guernsey. Have you got Charlie's tapes, then? What? Yep, all that. Right, can you stick those? That's the cutting order for the first two phones, OK? Hello. Reverse charge call to London, please. Frank, it's Dave Rowley on 3360. The possibility of one story fallen down, you know, the little chapel thing I was talking to you about. Unfortunately, two of the monks have uh, gone on holiday. I don't know whether they're going to be back. Probably they will. But anyway, if not, there's Sark. Now, I know Sark's been done to death with stories, but it's such a lovely place over there. And the thing is, they're, uh, they're getting this new, new dame, <laughs> and he's a man. Morning, Hello. Hello, Sue. Oh. Oh, oh, she's writing books now. That's right. And ready to sit the weekend, would you believe? Is any good? Quite good. Hello. Hello, Sue. Morning. How are you? I'm very well, indeed. Very well. Have a nice weekend. Lovely. I played my first game of tennis, would you believe? Yes, I've got a blister. Oh. Mm -hmm. James! 
three Heinkel bombers swooped out of the sun with their engines shut off, and the assault on the islands began. Now, but well, they were they were Heinkels, they weren't Stukas. I put Stukas. I know you put Stukas, and you were wrong. <laughs> Dave. I think come to a full stop after. There's only one way to test the island of resistance. Stop. Yeah. Right. Could you check that shadow just on the edge there? Was I all right for you? Yeah. I'll go for a take, because it's nice with the boat in the background right. there. Running. Running. One, take one. OK. In all, more than 23,000 people were evacuated from the islands, many of them from the Jersey capital. Now, that's, that's ruined it, really, because it was nice with that boat in the background. Yeah. Ruined it. Yes, it's got to be this. And we're not in place. Jersey, we're in Guernsey, right? It's nice and quiet. Well, stand by for a minute, Charlie. We're just waiting for this cloud. I think we've got to go in and out anyway, Finn. Oh, it's only oh, a second. Right, 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 there we go. Right. Turn over. Running. Slate one, take two. OK, James. And the assault on the islands began. I wasn't entirely happy with it, if we can do it again. Morning. Morning, Keith. Uh, Keith Clement in London. Uh, Freddie, I hear you in Manchester. Yes, good morning. good morning, Keith. Who else is there? Keith. in Cardiff, Keith. Morning, Cardiff. Hello, it's Southampton, Keith. Hello, Alison. Rosie in Plymouth here. Morning, Plymouth. Birmingham, Bristol, Leeds, Newcastle, Norwich, Glasgow, Belfast. Well, not exactly a full house yet, is it? Hello, Keith, at long last. Uh, it's a bit of a thin morning up in Leeds, actually, but I would like to remind you of that reservoir film which we sent down to you early this morning by train. Thank you, Leeds. Um, Sir Hampton, Alison, any ideas for us this morning? Well, yes, Keith. Apparently, um, there have been two sightings of porcupines on Salisbury Plain. But, but, but why should I get excited about porcupines on Salisbury Plain? Is it sort of unusual? I well, have you ever seen a porcupine in Salisbury? It's Please. like a kind of large hedgehog, isn't it? Oh, it's not a hedgehog. It's completely different. OK, fine. Uh, what next? Um, the, the English National Dress Competition, which we covered on Friday and was in Trafalgar Square at the weekend, I was wondering, it's got some good coverage and there might be more mileage in it. Um, Mandy in Glasgow. Um, what about, say, Cliff Hanley coming in to talk about it, give you suggestions and opinions of the people who are in for it. I mean, is he likely to come on and be funny about it, do you think? It's Amanda Ashton, Scottish researcher for BBC Nationwide here. I wondered if he'd be available to come in to our Glasgow studio tonight to do an item about English national costume. Viewing. Uh, shipyard nationalisation, that's ready, right? Shipyard nationalisation. Uh, got that? Yeah. Uh, worst football. Worst football. That's right. And chamber pots. We've got a story coming down from Leeds to King Cross at ten past one. A story called Reservoir. Okay, I'll have a dispatch rider up there to meet the train. Inflation. Who's doing inflation tonight? Um, not me. <laughs> I, d I simply don't understand. And you would get in trouble about this too, you know. OK. Growing your own tobacco. I did try to say about three times in the programme. For advertising... Well, the charge is that we're encouraging people to smoke. Although I said on the programme three times that it was a very dangerous thing to do. So he lighting us. What's Robin Hood about? I've no idea. No, you really ought to be through to our mm -hmm. consumer unit, actually. Yes, yes it's a, your washing machine. That's Ibiza discotheque. Yeah. That's the same discotheque in Mallorca. This That's is the same forest. The same in the couple in the same Epping forest. Okay. Right. Yeah. The amazing thing about the Epping Forest consumer is unit. there's yeah. not one single genuine picture well, in the brochure. Genuine. Can you hold on? Not one, except the picture of someone else. Epping Forest mm -hmm. Country Club itself. Mm -hmm. Washing machine. Hello, problem. can I help you? It's quite nice. Not every current affairs program. We just need a decent excuse for fitting it in. Yes, I've heard from Alison. Hampton. We've arranged yeah. to film him, uh, profile ready for Monday. Oh, well, Scales have got a lovely story down in Hounslow, roof extension, and that's all ready to go. Oh, I remember the that only one, problem yes. is I haven't got any reporter available. If you've got a reporter, we can do it. Um, well, Bob, you could take Bob if we get him back for transmission. Who's the, who's the crew? Here? Brian Goddard, I think, as far as I know. 
you have a car? I hope you yeah, don't. Because I'm parked streets away. I've been towed away by the police about three times. Have you got the location? Yeah. We're we'll going to see how Well, it, it appears that in 1971, this fellow employed a builder to build this loft extension. And the builder led this particular person to believe that he had obtained planning permission from the local authority. We were over London Airport, and we should never be able to record sound with those things landing. Let's do it inside. Is the car open, Terry? No. Where's, where's the other person going to be sitting on? On the end of the, on the, end of the couch? Yeah, right, that's, that's got it. That's beautiful. How long are you going to be, mate? So I'll sit five minutes. I think uh, if you sit there, I'll yeah. And your wife sits next to you. You'll have to, excuse me if I hesitate a little bit. What, did you have breakfast this morning? Yes, I did. What did you have? Uh, cornflakes and toast. Uh, Alan Scales and Bob Wellings. Uh, and it's four to nine. Um, hang on just a minute. Mike, yes, that's OK. Yes, that's uh, wrong. Can the DR go down to 31 Arnold Crescent, Hounslow, and pick up some rushes? Yes, is that for tonight's programme? Yes. But she's put her finger absolutely on the button. I mean, she says exactly what the story is about. That two departments in the building authority, no liaison, one between the other. Uh, you, what you need is a couple of bricks. A couple of bricks. Well, there's a building site over there. I'll go and see if you can get a couple of bricks. Oh, Otherwise, families like the Greys are going to find themselves yes. caught in the middle. Yes, yeah, a good hard clonk. All right, bang. Well, your green fairly quiet now, actually. Yeah, do you know? 11, take one. Hold it. We've got a camera for No, it's done this about five or six times. <laughs> Television centre square. <laughs> Greville Janner's book, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, it's this question about uh, health and safety at work. He's been trying to raise this for some time. Yeah. Sorry. Well, it, of course, it's up to the editor. Um, he'll have to decide. But if he agrees we go ahead, then I think the best thing is we'll get a researcher and bring Mr. Janner direct to the Commons, OK? Mr. Janner? Yes, hello, uh, Mr. Janner. It's Helen Kennard speaking here from Nationwide at the BBC. The name of the book is The Employer's Guide to the Law on Health and Safety at Work. Uh, it's been written because there are about a thousand deaths in industry every year and about half a million accidents. Would it be possible to come in tonight? Is it just London or will it go out to my constituency? It's the network. Can you get the order right on the number? The number on the back, that's marvellous. Uh, Norwich, uh, Birmingham and Hi, Southampton. Hi Mandy, it's Liz. Look, this item on uh, English national costume we were going to do, I'm afraid we're having to drop it. So do you think you can get in touch with Cliff Hanley and say we're not going to use it anymore? But we have dropped Glasgow, you've got that. No chance at all. Yeah. Thinking caps on. You will not Pardon. get people in. Well, we haven't got it. We that. can't. We can't do it in a rubber dinghy. It's ridiculous. How are we going to get all the gear in that rubber dinghy? He came in with one man in a dinghy, with a few more people and a bit more gear. We'd get in. And if people get wet feet, that's tough luck. This could turn into a riot, you know, couldn't it? Oh, I hope it does. I would like Mr. Nicol to be saying, you know, this is where I had this trouble, this is where we capsized, and all that sort of business. And I don't care what anybody says, you can't say that on the wrong beach. Yeah. Finn, yes. do, you, I mean, do you mind if we walk the three-quarter mile? It's three-quarter mile. I thought we'd arrange what we were doing. Send him around to Jeanne, and he can lay off in lay off. just before the swell, and we can just shout and say, you know, come in, go out. He can if try. You can, if, he can, try if you can, if you can, we can at least skin, try it. She gets soaked to the skin for the second time, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. then you may find, after all that hike and everything else, that that the whole thing is a po is pointless. No, no, it no, isn't. No, no. At least we're there on the blooming beach talking to Mr. Nicholl, who was there 30 years ago to the very day. All right. Well, let's go. On. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic, actually. It's got uh, 
wide stuff, tight stuff. And, well, know, obviously, all... James and Mr. Nicole obviously can't do it, but the thing we can do, of course, is to use him on his own, as oh. it were, to represent uh, Mr. Nicole oh, coming in perfectly. as he did. And as he perfectly. capsized anyway, you know, yeah. he got yeah. soaked to the skin. Ingrid, can I have your script, please? 3195 or 3196. Now, hold on a minute, just a second. Yes? Well, I was going to say, it's not really sort of a geared at attracting women. It is just sort no. of good breathing no, in general. No, that's fine. The titles. So, good evening in London and the South East tonight. We talk to the cookbook bestseller who's turned to novel writing, Fanny Craddock. We'll also be investigating the charge that our educational system is very sick and checking on the personal habits attracted and otherwise of our colleagues in Mason. There's only one snag. Look North in Manchester are also running the education item. Well... So, I, we ought to check that that won't repeat what they've said. That's what I mean. Is that the grooming intro? Is that... How are they doing the book in that? Is it a caption book? Yeah. Yeah. Could you take our Marvel Oak as sequence five on BT after Craddock? If I did, if I did a trans, it's a film which I want to transfer. I just haven't got enough machines, that's all. We could get in one of the union people from the construction industry to give it a statement yes. of the accident. I mean, um, yeah. Keith didn't Depends on how much ask for that. time you want to. Keith? Sure. Keith? Keith? How much time are you thinking of giving to this Greville Janner book? Who is that? No votes tonight. How's that? Mum away to Leicester. Okay, sorry. I'd hate it when the powder just sticks on those dry spots. It's a new box. Is this a new box? Yeah, it's got a new name on it. Uh, camera two. Uh, round you go, baby. All the way around the back. Can't we do anything about the uh, air conditioning? Oh, no. Oh, yes. So, the lesson... Right, can we go, Guru? So, the painful lesson for the grace is simple. A left extension was erected without... Come on, please, Barry. Not long. I'm on the last piece of the camera. We need you in dubbing at ten to six. It's item two, part one. Right, don't... So, have we got a longer lead? This one's ever so small. I'll try to very much. Are you all right now, Bobby? Well, I'm about to find out because I haven't quite caught up with myself yet. <laughs> Would, you like... Would you be in a position to rehearse the titles? OK for a title rehearsal, Mike Sue? Yes, I hear you. Uh, hello, right, OK, you. stand by then. And run TK8. Alex, just to check. The titles are on 8 TK8. Correct. Who's two drinking, Andrew? TK7 from Marvin. Who's two, Andrew? No, straight from TK8. Hang on. Counting out the titles 10, 9. I can't do that. Good evening. In London and the South East tonight, we talk to the cookbook bestseller. Thank you. And at 6.25, the big match. We have a special film report on the nationwide trophy final. I uh, know why you... I didn't get any light on my camera. Is it working? Camera two oh, yeah, takes Sue Lawley's link. Oh, no. It's have, a bit hot. Have you seen your guest yet? Who? Griffin Jenner? Oh, yes, thank Thanks a lot. Helen Kennard, nationwide, please. Mr. Jenner. Hello. 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 Welcome. Two minutes, studio. Then we're on the air. Alex, can you talk to TK Supervisor, please, on the green? Is anyone looking at the right, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. A minute to go. Seven hasn't got any film at the moment, apart from, I take it, the, t the uh, come on. 30 seconds. You got headlines? Yes, I know. Okay. Okay. Is it VD21 no, with on release? Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Nine. Run TK8. Eight. Temperature so similar to... Today. Nine. Eight. Seven, Good luck, six, folks. Five, four, this is three, BBC One. Two, one, zero. On film, on air. As soon as I come to you, by the way, one, zoom in to MCU. I want you to go away sooner. Opt out, Zero. opt out, RSQ. Good evening. In London and the South East tonight, we talk to the cookery book bestseller who's turned to novel writing, Fanny Ten. Craddock. And a new way of raising uh, funds Seven. to give fresh Zero. life Six. to Britain's ailing Five. film industry. Four. We meet the city stockbroker who's the cinema's Two. new style Wonder. banker.